Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Nikita Muravyov. I'm working in Semenov Federal Research Center for Chemical Physics, and I will talk today on the apparent, uh, on the, our results on apparent autocatalysis due to liquefaction. Uh, and we'll exemplify these results uh, by thermal decomposition of ammonium salt of 3,4,5,3-nitropyrazole three, energetic material. Uh, so I will start from a very brief introduction uh, into the problem. Um, decomposition of solids, uh, well, we know it from previous literature where, you sh where very often people use microscopy. Um, the decomposition of solids is often accompanied by liquefaction. Uh, it could be dissolution in products, depression of melting point, formation of eutectics, and so on. And so, as well known, the reactions in liquid, they, they are generally fa uh, faster than in solid state. And so, it could be a reason for, we call it a parent of the catalysis. Uh, so, when form liquid forms during the process and it results in visible acceleration uh, of reaction curves. And so the question that we asked was, are there any kinetic models that could describe the, the, the process, uh, which, I disc which I told you about? Uh, and we found in previous literature only a model developed by Baun in past and its modification by Manelis and Dubovitsky. So the key idea of Baun model is that it assumes that there is direction uh, in solid state and uh, starting compound, it progressively liquefies, and there is the reaction in liquid state. And uh, beyond the point of complete dissolution, uh, the decomposition is governed by first order reaction in solution. So this model was uh, was discussed by Carterson and uh, Carstensen and Brown, and uh, it became popular in uh, pharmacy in thermal stability assessment for. Uh, or uh, pharmaceutical materials. And um, so I need to say that uh, how we work uh, with, uh, with kinetics in our lab. Um, so here is very general schematics uh, workflow. Uh, we start from DSC or TG at low uh, heating rates and minimal possible sample masses to avoid the self-heating. We perform the check for self-heating. Um, using various criteria, including this one by developed by Farges. Uh, then we look on our data uh, using the isoconversial analysis by Friedman or Vizovkin technique. And uh, if it follows the single step process, we perform the model fitting with linear regression, or uh, usually we, we, we finally uh, come to the model fitting uh, nonlinear regression. And we perform, so the, there could be diff various amount of stages. And uh, each stage, we, we start for each stage with the flexible extended proud Tompkins equation, uh, so proposed by Birmingham. And uh, so all these computations we perform uh, using the free and open source uh, things uh, software developed by myself. It is available here. And uh, so it was the, let's say, the uh, methodological uh, challenge for present study to 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 meet the bound uh, the formalism of bound model uh, with the EPT formalism that we routinely used, and so finally I come to the object of present study. Actually, it is the most important thing. But um, um, so here it is: the ammonium salt of free nitropyrazole. It has good thermal stability, high detonation performance, acceptable mechanical sensitivity. So, and all these factors tell us that it could be an interesting energetic materials. And so, in literature before, there were only two studies. They report uh, thermal decomposition behavior, and the kinetic parameters in that studies they differ in much degree. And uh, there was the uh, autocatalytic behavior, but no explanation was suggested. Um, so I move to our results, to results of our team. The first look, uh, thermal behavior by mass loss. Here it is, the mass loss. Uh, we can see here that there is the low temperature stage and the high temperature stage of the process. And in turn, the low temperature stage, so this one, uh, it uh, is comprised by, uh, by two peaks uh, on, on DTG and uh, the same two peaks on DSC. So 
uh, low temperature stage in turn uh, comprises of two global reactions, at least two global reactions. Uh, so here I put much and I should tell about all these curves. Um, so the thin curves here, uh, they were obtained at a normal pressure of one atmosphere. And what we have, what we notice there that there is some bending at high temperatures and also that uh, the total heat effect is uh, not reproducible. Uh, so it's, uh, the, the scatter is, is, is large. And um, the reason for that, it come when we look on the samples after the tests. And we can see here that there is the droplet of the solid product, uh, which, which is uh, formed just above the, the hole in the, in, the, in the pen lid. So it results in local uh, increase of pressure and at high pressure, we systematically see the, the high heating effect values and uh, we do not see this effect when we apply the elevated pressure so the thick lines here are the uh, pressure dc curves and uh, we perform uh, the following kinetic analysis using the pressure dc curves obtained at low heating rates uh, which are uh, blue thick lines here and uh, but in one case we we use the high heating rate just to to shift to naturally shift the decomposition uh, peak and to try to see the melting of material and indeed we we obtain it um, it is shown here so it means that uh, the low temperature uh, data was obtained uh, at temperatures below the melting point of the tar of the of the ATP. Uh, so first look at that uh, data using the Kissinger plot. We can see here that uh, two peaks of low temperature stage, uh, they both have the same slope. So we, we, so if we, you, if we did, if we perform only Kissinger analysis, we will uh, tell that uh, the activation energy for both peaks is the same. But as we can see further uh, using more advanced techniques, it is not the case. And uh, another observation was that uh, the points uh, corresponding to the um, to the experiments where the temperature was above the melting point, they also lie on the same. Uh, they also fall on the same uh, line. So it means that uh, we we cannot see here the the difference between liquid state decomposition and solid state decomposition. Uh, and uh, so this fact should, will be addressed in the following uh, kinetic model. Um, so more advanced technique, uh, it is the model fitting kinetic analysis. And here is the final optimized model. It contains two stages, both in extended Proud-Tompkins um, uh, form. And uh, so both stages, so there is the consecutive uh, model of two consecutive stages. And also from, uh, from the analysis of its parameters, we can see here that the first global reaction is close to the uh, first order autocatalytic reaction. And uh, so the question for us was, what is the reason for the autocatalysis? And uh, can we develop a more accurate kinetic model if we understand the reason uh, of it? Um, so to do this, we, we, we want to, to look uh, on the sample during the measurement. And we've done that with uh, self-built uh, accessory to, to, to the DSC. So here it is, uh, the sample, uh, the particles of AT&P, the background is the aluminum uh, crucible. Uh, here is the temperature, it's, the video is a bit um, uh, the playback speed is a bit accelerated, but what we can see here that there is the softening of crystals. It is very important, uh, and um, it it starts at temperatures much less than the melting point of the material. So we can see here that some particles jumped from the field of view. It means that the gas generation takes place, the decomposition actually. Uh, but what we were more interested in is the is the uh, microstructure of the sample and we can see here that there is the uh, the bubbling the extensive uh, liquefaction of the material and here is the dsc which was um, 
measured in the same experiment, so simultaneously with the video observation. And we can see here that uh, the sample is completely liquefied uh, at temperature uh, close to the temperature of the maximum of DC, and is again be below the melting point. So this fact supports the application of bound kinetic model. And we've done that uh, during the model fitting kinetic analysis. And here it is, the final model. Uh, the first uh, peak is modeled, uh, so two-stage reaction. The first stage is the bound uh, kinetic model. And the second one is the extended proud Tompkins kinetics. And um, so several implications of this kinetic model. So at first, uh, we note that the solid state uh, AT and P decomposition is much, much lower than that of liquid state. And so it is important uh, practical uh, observation because it means that the kinetic parameters of much slower reaction in solid cannot be distinguished from fast uh, liquid state reaction um, using thermal analysis. Uh, and indeed, we look uh, on previous literature and the kinetic parameters which were obtained by, by isothermal manometry. Uh, so the researchers consider very beginning of the process and they report the following kinetic parameters. But if we uh, here are uh, kinetic parameters of the bound model uh, obtained by our team, and if we keep in mind that the all that we know for solid state reaction is that is that it is uh, pre-orders uh, slower than that of liquid state reaction. So we uh, subtract three from this value and we can see here, uh, and we can see then that uh, there is the perfect agreement between the, uh, the kinetic data uh, from manometry and our results. So it means that in both cases, the, in fact, in experiment, we see only the uh, liquid state reaction the dominant reaction actually. And another observation was that um, if we look on the equations of Baum model, there is some possibility of self-check. Um, and uh, we use the optimized conversion degree value uh, corresponding to complete liquefaction on sample to calculate the solubility. So here is the value. And this value theoretically uh, should be equal to the rate uh, of the Pre exponential factor in bound model. And as we can see here, again, the agreement is good. Um, so then we look to evolve gas analysis to, 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 to understand the mechanism of the process. So uh, I will not go on through all of these results, just mention that at very beginning of the process, uh, we observe the ammonia. So uh, actually, um, Another point was that if we observe the uh, ammonium, uh, it could be uh, the first stage could be dissociation to ammonium and TNP product, the respective acid. And uh, we uh, also look on the mixture of ATNP with TNP. Uh, and what was the interesting here is that we observe the new endotherm, which is absent uh, in each of the neat compounds. And to, to make it more clear, we, we made the mixture of ATNP with 4 nitropyrazole. This is very thermal stable compound. It's supposed to be inert uh, to ATNP. And we can see here that again, the melting uh, the new endotherm appears here. And from hot stage microscopy, uh, we see that before this peak, the material is solid and after it, it is liquid. So it means that uh, here there, uh, there is the formation of a tactic mixture. And uh, actually it is the reason for liquefaction and bound type kinetics that we observe. And so finally, the decomposition me mechanism which we come up with is that uh, ATNP starts to this uh, from ATNP decomposition starts from dissociation reaction, then produce TNP forms the tactic composition with ATNP and the eptectics, which is less stable than both of neat compounds, it uh, in turn decomposes uh, to the gaseous product. And uh, so finally, I'd like to say that we performed the model, kitting, uh, model fitting kinetic analysis for ATNP. Uh, we uh, perform it with bound kinetic model. It, is it was implemented in open source free uh, things software. 
And uh, our proposed mechanism answers to questions uh, from previous literature on the mechanism and the reason for acceleration of at and uh, So finally, I'd like to s thank uh, my colleagues for, uh, for assistance, uh, the funding sources, uh, and tell you that if you are more interested in our study, it could be, it is available, it is published in PCP and available by this link. Uh, the software again is free and available by this link. So I'd like to answer any questions. Thank you for your attention.